There's a lot of great information in the media and there's a lot of misleading information in the media. Let's talk about vaccine myths and myth busters. Myth, I'm protected as soon as I'm vaccinated. This is absolutely not true. As you can imagine, it takes a while for the dose of vaccine that just got injected into your arm to work. In fact, it can take up to one month after each dose to generate a large amount of antibodies. The trials showed that you need to wait at least one week after the second dose for Pfizer and at least two weeks after the second dose for Moderna to receive your 95% protection. And even after that time, some people are still increasing the amount of antibodies that they generate. Remember also that there is a 5% remaining risk. And this risk is actually going to be affected by the amount of cases that are around you and how good the behavior is in the community with masking, with hand hygiene, and with distancing. Another myth is that one dose is plenty and you don't need to get the second dose. That is also not true. What we know from the clinical trials is that it takes two doses to provide the greatest protection at 95%. These vaccines were studied in early studies with both companies, and they decided that it needs two doses in order to proceed. So these are both two-dose vaccines. The first dose produces an effect, but it takes the second dose to help lock in that effect, very similar to actually getting the infection. The first infection does not produce a sizable immune response that's going to last for a good long while. And for that reason, vaccine is still indicated if you've had COVID-19 infection. Another myth, is that the vaccine will make me more likely to shed virus through asymptomatic infection. This particular concept that people who are vaccinated will actually shed and spread virus without knowing it has three really important points um, that make this not true. The first one is that when you first get the vaccine, the vaccine is not alive. The vaccine itself cannot give you COVID-19. You will not spread or shed or even get COVID-19 to become contagious from the vaccine itself. Second of all, you should remember that the vaccine is only 95% protective. So if you get sick with COVID-19, you will likely be shedding virus and be contagious to others. However, new data suggests what we know from other vaccines the measles vaccine, the chickenpox vaccine, we know actually people who are vaccinated actually shed less. So they're less likely to spread it to others. And that is what looks like is also true for COVID-19. Finally, there is no carrier state or colonization state with COVID-19. That is, the virus is not sitting in your nose or in the back of your throat, just waiting to be passed on to somebody else, even if it can't invade you because you're vaccinated. That simply does not exist. There is no moment where the virus is just sitting around and hanging out ready to spread to others. In fact, what we know is that the vaccine protects you both from symptomatic and asymptomatic disease. At UC Irvine Health, we have vaccinated over 10,000 healthcare professionals, and we know that the number of cases in healthcare professionals has plummeted, both symptomatic and because we have a robust asymptomatic screening program, including asymptomatic disease has fallen to zero. Additional myths that are really important um, to have myth busting is that the vaccine does not in any way cause cancer. In fact, mRNA vaccines are used to fight cancer. They are ways in which you can actually help your body recognize certain proteins so that it can target it to fight and attack it. The mRNA vaccine does not mix with any of your genes. It doesn't mix with your DNA. It does not cause any genetic alteration to your body in any of your cells. Another myth is that the vaccine will implant a microchip. This is absolutely not true. Nothing is implanted. Nothing is doing surveillance on you. And in fact, the vaccine is not very permanent at all. If you think about the vaccine, the mRNA vaccines require cold storage. Why is that? Because mRNA vaccines need cold storage to keep them stable. It doesn't stay very long in your body. It stays there just long enough to teach you to make the spike protein. And then your body removes that so that all you're left with is the antibody. Another myth is that the vaccine causes infertility. This is also absolutely not true. When you get the injection in your arm, the vaccine and its ingredients stay in your arm. 
it actually doesn't make it out of the arm. It gets eaten up by the arm cells and it's those cells that start to make the instruction set to teach the body to make the spike protein. It never makes it to your reproductive organs. It doesn't make it to your bloodstream. And again, it does not mix with your DNA or your genes to cause any trouble with fertility. Another myth is that more time is needed for us to understand the safety of these vaccines. This is simply not true. If you take a look at the clinical trials, about 80,000 people went through those clinical trials to understand common side effects due to the vaccine. Of those 80,000, half received the vaccine and half of them received placebo. So about 40,000 people helped us understand common side effects due to the vaccine. After post-marketing use, not only do the, the use that's happening today confirm common side effects, but it helps us find rare ones. If we take a look right now in the pandemic, we are giving out over a million doses of vaccine in the United States every single day. The amount of vaccine use that we are experiencing in the upcoming days to weeks exceeds the years of experience of other vaccines. So we're gaining experience by the day.